Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. Thank you. You may be seated. Good morning, Wildcats. I'm Megan. And I'm Mitchell here with your morning announcements. Today, head over to Miss McTagg's room for a photo club meeting at 2.30 in room 300. Student Council is having a fundraiser tomorrow, January 28th at Bobo's. Now for a new segment, Pop Talk, with Adriana, Mitchell, and Patty, and then over to sports with Patty and Tanner. Wildcats, I'm Mitchell. And I'm Adriana here with our first installment of Pop Talk. We've Woo! got a lot of exciting things to share with you guys today. Yes. So let's get right into it. Like, did you know the White House is a Snapchat now? Isn't this exciting? That's right. You can add them at White House on Snapchat to get some behind the scenes footage of the White House. Isn't that pretty exciting? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. The White House's goal in joining Snapchat is to branch out to a younger crowd via meeting the people where they are campaigning, which is like using social media and other similar platforms to meet people on their own terms. In other news, there is speculation that the University of Phoenix may be looking for new ownership. Apparently, after the Apollo Education Group announced that the school needed to repair its reputation as a university, the school has begun to look impossible ways to clean up campus, starting with management. Now Mitchell's going to go off and find some people to interview to talk about this week's field report. Woo! See you there. I'm going to go find some sassy people. <laughs> Bye! Hello. It's us. This is Kenzie. She is a sophomore here at Willow Canyon, and she knows a little bit about music, and she sings quite well, let me tell you. So, um, since I've made an Adele reference, how do you feel about Adele coming back into the music spotlight? I'm very excited, because the last time she released an album, it was album 21, and I loved all of the songs that she put on there. I feel the same about this topic, too. So why do you think that it is that a lot of her fans automatically flock to her again now that she's been gone for, like, I think three years? I don't think she like they necessarily flocked to her. I feel like they were there all along. It's just they were waiting patiently for a new album. Great. I love to hear it. Thank you, Kenzie, for having an interview with me. And now we're going to go on to our next one. This is Morgan, and she's a varsity softball player here at Willow Canyon and an avid football watcher. So, since we're talking about football with the NFL postseason in full swing and the Carolina Panthers taking that top seed, there is still a, one question that comes back to mind that happened back in week, four, week 14 against the Giants. What happened between Josh Norman and Odell Beckham? So, what do you think was the reasoning behind Odell Beckham's actions in the game? I think that, as we all know, in the NFL, we like to talk a lot of smack. So, they, um, I think the smack talking just got a little out of hand, and it just got overheated. Awesome. So now, do you think that Josh Norman should have received the same type of punishment, or even worse? Absolutely. Now, why is this? Because the it's a it's a fight. So they they fought 50-50. Um, so I think they both participated, and they both should be punished. Oh, so you're saying that they have equal parts? Absolutely. Awesome. So now that's all we have from Morgan, and now back to Patty for a music countdown. Oh, didn't see you there. Good morning, Wildcats. I'm Patty here with your top five songs of the week. These songs have been, become popular within the 2016 New Year. Starting with number five, Charlie Poof's One Call Away. Yes, again, Charlie Poof is back on the charts from his 2015 serenading voice of See You Again with Wiz Khalifa. It's a really good song, and you should go hear it if you want a love song. Number four is a song by a man who clearly just can't catch a break in this world, Justin Bieber, with his song sorry you may recognize it from every single radio station you turned on to 101.5 or 101.1 whatever you listen to it's on that radio station or the steve harvey instagram post oh gosh steve harvey i don't i don't i can't believe you did that it's just i guess it's too late to say sorry <laughs> 
Eh? No? Okay. Number three on the iTunes chart, we see Adele again. She took a quick break, but just like when Adele says hello, we seem to flock to her music. So now we go down to number two, which is personally my favorite off of the charts. It is 21 Pilots, and it is Stressed Out. If you're stressed out in class, listen to it. It's an amazing song. And now, number one. Love Yourself by Justin Bieber. I hope I got an amazing edit of a drum roll, courtesy by Mitchell. Anyways, number one is Love Yourself. Again, can't talk too much about the song. It's amazing. I highly recommend you listening to it. It seems that all of these songs on this chart is pretty good, so be sure, get a chance, go on iTunes and look it up. That's all we have for this week's of your top five songs, and who knows, maybe next week I'll do different genres or different songs. Hopefully it's different songs. If... Justin Bieber is on the charts one more time. I don't know what I'm going to do. That's all I have. Signing off. Hey there, Wildcats. I'm Tanner. And I'm Patty here with your sports update. Did you hear that the boys varsity basketball has a game on the 29th against Peoria? That sounds awesome. I should be sure to go check it out. And tonight, your girls varsity team will be playing against Cactus, Hi Cactus High School at 7 p.m. I bet that will be a good game. Also, the boys' varsity soccer team will be playing against Mountain Ridge at 6 p.m. today. I should actually be able to go check out both games, and if they're both tonight, we should totally carpool. That'd be really fun. And your girls' soccer team will be playing against Liberty tonight at 6 p.m. They're number one in their division, so be sure to go and support them. Well, that's all the sports we have for you today, Wildcats. Now over to a quick public service announcement, and then your weather from Devin. Yo, what's up, Will Karen Wildcats? It's your boy Devin with the weather for today. Today we'll have a high of 65 and a low of 39. Let's see the rest of the week. The rest of the week will be in the high in the 70 range and lows in the 40 range. It'll be partly cloudy pretty much all the week. All right, now let's go back to your main anchors. Thank you, Devon, for that very special weather update. Robotics will be meeting Tuesday through Friday starting this week in room 400 after school. If you have any announcements, please, please, please send them into our email at wchsannouncement15 at gmail.com. And that's all the news we have for you today. Thank you for tuning in, and we look forward to seeing you tomorrow. And, and have, have a great, great Dice Sarte. Sarte.